Hi everyone, I'm Chelsea from Twinkle and in this activity video I'm going to be showing you three different ways you can upcycle your glass jars into DIY Halloween decorations. Let's get started. First, use the timestamps to choose how you would like to upcycle your jar. Fast forward to your chosen jar project. Great! You've decided you would like to make a DIY pumpkin jar for your autumn craft. This is a great Halloween theme alternative if you can't find a suitable pumpkin this year or if you want a pumpkin decoration you can use year after year. Here are the things you will need. You will need a glass jar ready to upcycle. You could also use a mason jar for this pumpkin jar craft. You will need some orange tissue paper but you could always get creative and use a mixture of autumn colours for your art project. You will need some clear drying glue. I'm going to use PVA glue for my autumn jar craft. And last of all, you will need a permanent marker. Pause here while you gather your art project equipment. First of all, we're going to take our glass jar or mason jar and cover it in orange tissue paper. This is where you can choose to use a mixture of warm autumn colours if you want to. Make sure to put glue under your tissue paper and over the top to flatten it down, but it doesn't need to be dripping wet. Once covered, leave to dry overnight. Once the tissue paper is dry, take your permanent marker and draw on the facial features of your Halloween pumpkin. You might want to sketch out different designs first, so you choose the best one for your pumpkin lantern. And there you have it, a DIY Halloween pumpkin jar. Ask an adult to put a tea light inside and your lantern will glow just like a spooky pumpkin lantern. Choose where you would like to go next in the video. Fab! You've decided you would like to make a DIY Halloween mummy jar for your jar craft. These jars look super spooky as Halloween lanterns. Here are the things you will need. You will need a glass jar ready to upcycle. You could also use a mason jar for this mummy jar craft. If possible, you will need some bandages. If you cannot get bandages, some white tissue paper is a perfect replacement. You will need some clear drying glue. I am going to use PVA glue for this Halloween jar craft. You will also need some eyes. I have drawn mine on white paper and cut them out, but if you have some googly eyes, they would look even better. Pause here while you get your craft equipment ready. Take your jar and your bandages or tissue paper. This craft looks best when you have thin strips of bandage or tissue paper. Choose a place to start and put a small dab of glue. Hold the bandage in the glue and start to wrap the bandage around the jar. Try to change direction and overlap so it looks like a spooky mummy. Every now and then put a small dab of glue under the bandage to hold those last few turns in place. When you have enough layers and you're happy with it, put a small amount of glue over any pieces of bandage that need flattening out and then leave to dry overnight. When the bandage is dry, it's time to add the eyes. I have added a black outline to my eyes so they stand out against the white bandages. Using glue, attach the eyes to your mummy. Then use some thin strips of leftover tissue or bandage and place them just over the top and bottom of the eyes so they look like they are peeking out. Fantastic craft work today. You have made a DIY Halloween mummy jar. Ask an adult to place a tea light inside and your lantern will glow just like a spooky mummy decoration. Choose where you would like to go next in the video. Great! You've decided you would like to turn your glass jar or mason jar into a Halloween lantern you can carry or hang. Exciting! Here are the things you will need. You will need a glass jar ready to upcycle. You could also use a mason jar for this Halloween lantern craft. 
Next, you'll need some tissue paper. We're going to decorate our lanterns first, so you'll need some tissue paper to add colour. You will need some clear drying glue. I'm going to use PVA glue for my Halloween lantern. You will also need string to make your lantern holder. This needs to be strong and the thicker the string, the better. Cord, such as macrame cord, works perfectly. I'm using an old washing line. Pause here while you get your equipment ready. First, it's time to decorate our lantern. I'm going to use a mixture of bright colours for my lantern, but you could use the tissue like collage squares to create a certain design. It could even match your Halloween costume. Then I leave my lantern design to dry. When it is dry, I'm going to use permanent markers to draw some bats on it to give it a Halloween-y style. What will you add to your lantern? Now it's time to make our lantern holder. For this, we need our string or cord. First, we need to cut four lengths of cord. Each piece needs to be the same length. Each piece of cord will need to be 1.5 meters long, plus the diameter of your jar. If you have a tall jar like me, maybe add another 20 centimeters. It is better for the cord to be too long than too short. You will need four pieces of cord, equal in length. Next, take all four pieces and fold them in half. Tie a knot at the top of the fold. The next steps are easier if you hang this knot up on a hook or on a doorknob so the strings hang down or ask a friend to hold it up. I'm keeping mine flat so it is easier for you to see. Take two of the cords and use them to tie a knot. Make the knot where you would like the top of the jar to be. Repeat this, tying knots in pairs of cords until you have four knots. Make sure each knot is the same distance from the top Now, take two of the knots you just tied, which are next to each other, and from each knot, take one cord. Now, knot these together. Repeat until you have four knots. Make sure to keep these second knots about the same height too. They should be about a third of the way up from the bottom of the jar. Now check your jar fits inside the mesh you have created. If it doesn't, adjust the height of the second row of knots you made. Finally, knot all of the cords together in one big knot underneath the jar. You can tidy up the bottom of the lantern holder by snipping away any loose bits of rope. Great macrame for beginners. Ask an adult to put an electric tea light or some fairy lights inside and you can go trick-or-treating in style with your DIY lantern to light the way. Or hang them outside of your house for a spooky Halloween decoration. Great work today. You have upcycled and recycled some glass jars into decorations you can treasure every Halloween. See you again in your next Twinkle Teachers creative adventure. Bye!